rain around, man. It is very wet, isn't it, Clive? And the rest of the week looks very wet indeed. Uh, good afternoon to you. We could be looking at some flooding issues continuing through the week, particularly Western Scotland, Northwest England, Wales, Southwest England, as there is a lot more rain to come. The ground is saturated. The rest of today remains windy with the rain slowly clearing, but more rain is uh, pushing on into the west later. Good afternoon. It was a rather grey and rather damp start first thing this morning. A soggy commute through Perivale, as you can see, with that heavy rain first thing. But this afternoon, that rain is clearing. It is going to be drier. We're hanging on to the cloud and it's also going to stay pretty breezy through this afternoon. From drama on TV to drama in the skies. Hello. Hi, Duncan. I know. So last night, my husband came in and said, I've seen a shooting star. I was like, oh, darling, that's oh, lovely. Well done. Was it a quick blink and you miss it? He said, no, it was a really good one. And at that point, I was like, OK, a little bit jealous, not going to get too excited. Take a look at what he saw. Can you see that coming oh, right wow. through the sky? Here it is slowed down. This is in above the skies of Peckham. It's but not your doorbell, is it? It's a, a what? It's not your doorbell, that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not my doorbell. It's a proper good one, that. You wouldn't yeah. want to be looking at your phone as that came through. We've got another one of it in um, Wembley as well. well let's see. Lucky people of Wembley got to see it too. So basically, it's a shooting star. They are pretty common, but last night's looked bigger than normal because it was closer. And if you're wondering what it is, it's basically a piece of rock that approaches the Earth from space. And as it comes into the Earth's atmosphere, wow. it starts burning up. And that's why you can see its tail as it comes through. Anyway, I'm not jealous of him at all. No, I wonder where no. it landed. You, what, sorry, I've got a bit deaf tonight. The sorry. meteor, I wonder where it landed. Oh, I know. I'm hoping on my driveway and I can start <laughs> a little museum. Nice bit of retirement with some meteor. <laughs> right, here's the weather. Here we go. Hello again. Well, I hope you managed to avoid getting too soaked today. I suspect this robin didn't look quite so beautiful after getting a load of rain on it. Bedraggled probably the word. Now, we've got further wet and windy weather this evening. And then tomorrow, a better start, but it will turn showery as we go through into the afternoon. And another spell uh, of wet and windy weather as we move into Thursday. Friday's looking a little bit better, but we are just in this unsettled uh, period at the moment. So it's a bit unsettled then. <laughs> You got the message. Sorry about that. You said it a few times, didn't <laughs> you? How many times can you say it in two minutes? Let's go, 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 go. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. Well, we've had a lot of wet and windy weather, haven't we, over the past few days? More of that on the cards as well. We've got some really saturated ground, big puddles out there, and there's still about 30 flood warnings in force, particularly across parts of England, but also through Wales and Scotland as well. And over the next few days, really for the rest of this week, we stick with that unsettled theme. So often wet and windy, pretty mild for the time of the year, although those temperatures are going to be fluctuating a bit over the next few days. To uh, rain showers, Kate Kinsella, when's it going to stop raining? Well, not yet, sadly. <laughs> Alice, it has been another very wet and soggy day. Puddles, a very frequent sight at the moment for many of us. Lots of standing water. The rain, of course, falling on saturated ground. And there's more to come. Now, let's look at the weather now. Warnings are in place for heavy rain and strong winds for some parts of Britain over the next few days. Alex is here. So how bad is it likely to get? Well, we certainly could see some local impacts as we head through the next few days, and there are weather warnings still in place from today. In fact, um, across the northwest of uh, the UK, uh, we actually saw a lot of rainfall. Seathway in Cumbria seeing a hundred millimetres since midnight last night, and we've got more warnings as we head through the next few days. There's wind warning in place up across uh, parts of Scotland as we head through into tomorrow. Then tomorrow evening we see a rain which does incorporate an, a wind element to it across parts of Wales and the southwest of England. Here we could see as much as 60 millimetres falling up over the high ground. Again, that could lead to some local impacts. There are also flood warnings in place to accompany uh, these weather warnings uh, that we have as we head through the next 24 hours. And I can tell you that we actually have seen some evidence of the River Severn running pretty high at the moment. These pictures are from Bewley uh, in Worcestershire earlier today. And I can tell you that they are already preparing for river levels to rise and perhaps lead to some flooding. At the moment, there's a, a peak that's coming down from Shropshire um, and we could see another metre onto the levels that we've got here. So at the moment, these slats that you behind us here aren't wet, but the water could be halfway up the slats by the end of this week into the weekend. Well, as you can see there, they are certainly getting ready for the event of uh, some flooding. Is it going to happen? Well, with a fair bit of rain over the next few days, it could well happen. Let's well, as we head through the next few days, you can see our pressure pattern is very unsettled at the moment. I'll just go back to it there. You're going to have areas of low pressure swinging in off the Atlantic. 
isobars tightly squeezed together. So that's why that uh, rain warning across the southwest tomorrow does incorporate a wind element to it. It's going to be quite wet and windy and it stays unsettled as we head through into this weekend. And with a colder air mass over the UK, there is a possibility that some showers across the north could turn a touch on the wintry side. Well, I wish I had better news, but it's certainly not as bad as what they're experiencing over in Montecito yeah. at the moment. But we will still need our umbrella. We will. Hold <laughs> on to it, though. Thanks very much. <laughs>